The Atlantic Rally for Cruises came to an official end at the Rodney Bay IGY Marina on Saturday 13th January, which coincided with the start of the World ARC, a round-the-world adventure taking place over 15 months and covering 26,000 nautical miles. St. Lucia government officials, participants of the ARC 2023, and representatives of the World Cruising Club were on hand to mark the occasion. Minister with Responsibility for Tourism, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hiller, was pleased with the overall success of the event and added activities that saw participation from cruisers and locals alike. The numbers were quite impressive and, and I think in many ways it showed that the event continued to grow and especially, as I said, post-COVID. And the participants that I spoke with all seem to have been very satisfied with the level of organization. You mentioned a couple of events that were added, and we were really impressed with, you know, the Export St. Lucia event, the St. Lucia market that was put on. And of course, you know, the act in ancillary was also, you know, quite a, you know, pleasing, you know, addition that was brought in. And I think it says a lot about how the event can continue to grow. But even more importantly, the impact that it has on the country in terms of economic activity, in terms of spend. Um, of course, as the numbers grow, um, you have more persons who are, you know, visiting restaurants, going on tours, you know, visiting ancillary in this particular case. The um, St. Lucia marketplace was, you know, a success. So we're certainly looking forward to the event growing even further. The Rodney Bay IGY Marina has been the destination for the ARC for several years. General Manager Sean DeVoe has been pleased with the overall growth of the event. Well, for us here at IGY, as I've said all the time, I mean, it's an absolute special time of year for us. Um, with the World Arc, it's even a bit more special because it's the only event that World Cruising Club puts on um, from St. Lucia that will end in the same destination. And for Rodney Bay IGY Marina to be part of that, um, it's even more tremendous and, and emotional, I guess, to some extent, um, connected to it. Fortunately for us, the I think for the cruisers and everything else, it's an ideal location because IGY has the marina. Um, we also have the boatyard and a lot of the technical support. Um, and so as a result of that, we are able to support them. A lot of these boats who are going around the world, as you heard from the minister and, and Paul, um, 15 months on the water. So you can only imagine the amount of preparation that goes into planning this, um, you know, making sure the lines are right, the sails are right, the engines in its tip top shape. Um, and so from a technical aspect, we really play a pivotal point um, in, in coordinating all of those repairs through the World Cruising Club, through our technical team, both in-house and out of house. Um, and so we're just very proud for a day like today to see everybody get to the starting line. Um, obviously for us, we've seen through the engagements and the different activities with events company, Ministry of Tourism, World Cruising Club, um, and all your yourselves, the sponsors and support that we get. We've seen the growth um, when the clients or the cruisers first meet, and then we see them turn into friends. And then I can guarantee you, when you come back here in April to welcome the group that left last year, um, some of them are lifelong friends that keep in touch forever. 25 yachts will sail around the world for one year and end at Rodney Bay in April of 2025. Meanwhile, the yachts which left St. Lucia for World Arc in 2023 will be expected to begin arriving on island in April of this year. The general manager of the marina underscored the tremendous impact of both events on St. Lucia's economy. Every year with the Arc, um, we put on what we call the Arc Village. And so it would be the little shuttle houses that you see along the boardwalk here in the marina. Um, and that is really to, to tailor and to cater to those entrepreneurs who wish to come and display their products, their services and whatever else they have to offer. Um, so uh, we've been doing it for years and obviously with the, with the support of Exports and Lucia, we look to expand on that. Um, but yeah, coming back to the economic impact, I mean, you know, $11 million is spent in the country in three weeks. Um, less than 5% of that is actually spent within the marina. I know the perception is everything is spent within the marina, but that just goes to show that the economic impact of the world of the arc is really spent out in every and every corner of this island. Um, and so we encourage new ideas, um, new products and everything else, because we really want to show them an authentic St. Lucia. Um, and as especially with the World Cruising Club um, and the arc, the event today, which is World Arc, they're going to leave from St. Lucia, which means 
hopefully in their hearts they have a piece of St. Lucia and they're going to go around the world and hopefully remember us in every. So from a marketing and an advertising standpoint, it's a, it's a phenomenal um, feature for St. Lucia. 155 yachts started arriving in St. Lucia in December 2023 for the 38th edition of the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers. The race was launched from Las Palmas, Spain on 19th November 2023. From the Government Information Service, I am Virgil Leonti reporting.